Hello everyone, I'm Courtney and welcome to my super late review on Call Down the Hog by Maggie Stiefvater. So I actually read this book back in the beginning of May and for some reason I was like, oh, I don't want to film a review on this. But now it's been about a month later and I am still obsessing over this book and I took it as a sign that I needed to film a review, talk about it. So here I am. If you have no idea what Call Down the Hawk is, this is the first book in the Dreamer trilogy, aka Rowan Lent, who is a main character from the Raven Cycle series, which I read those books about four years ago and I love them. I have reviews on all the books, so I will we'll link some of them in the description box down below if you would like to learn more. But a little bit after the last book in the Raven Cycle series, The Raven King, came out, Maggie announced that she was going to be doing a spinoff series that was going to focus on Rowan Lynch, who I love so much. So I was super excited about it and Call Down the Hog came out last November. so. I am really late to this bandwagon, but I'm here now. I read the book and I honestly didn't know what to expect for this book, but whatever expectations I had were thrown right out the window the moment I started reading this book. This was so insane. Maggie went to such new heights. I was just blown away. So if you haven't read Call Down the Hawk yet, you are definitely missing out, especially if you're a fan of the original series and Rowan, like you gotta jump on this baby. So if you have not read this book yet and you don't want to be spoiled, I will leave right now because I am about to go into spoilers. You do not, do not want to be spoiled for this book. So bye non spoilery people. Alrighty, so go down the hawk. I'm doing this from memory because like I said, I read this a month ago, so if I get something wrong. So first I want to talk about the plot because I think that was the biggest thing that really surprised me with this book was how it's basically about dreamers and non-dreamers and there's a group of people who are trying to kill dreamers like Rowan and that was just really unexpected but it was really interesting learning that hey there are people out here that don't like guys like Rowan and want them dead. It was a lot to take in I will say so for the first half I was pretty bored because there's just so much new information given to you and there's also a lot of new in characters introduced in this book so I was kind of overwhelmed at first and honestly I thought I wasn't gonna like the book because of that but it definitely got better by the second half but I did enjoy the dreamer non-dreamer situation and trying to see them figure out like who's right and who's wrong and I liked meeting Carmen who's one of the new main characters she's a non-dreamer she's trying to kill people like Rowan so I don't like her for that but besides that fact Carmen's pretty cool. Another big part of the plot that also ties into a new main character is Hennessy. She's a new dreamer introduced and she dreams copies of herself every time she goes to sleep and she has a tattoo on her neck that fills up with all of them and she thinks she's gonna die and that was really interesting. I really liked her story and also love seeing how far she came like Hennessy was such an interesting character and because of Hennessy we have another new main character Jordan who was Hennessy's first copy and I love Jordan okay the moment I read her first chapter I was like this girl is gonna be amazing and I'm gonna fall in love with her and that's what happened the thing that is so intriguing about Jordan is that yes she's a copy yes she was dreamt but she's so human at the same time because she's been alive for so long that she has developed her own personality and interests like she forges art but she also just really likes art too and seeing her talk about that with Declan, you could just see how much she loves 
art and it's just crazy to think like you were dreamed you know i will say that i really thought jordan was gonna die because i thought hennessy was gonna die because hennessy kept dreaming of copies and i was like oh my god the tattoo's gonna get all filled up and she's gonna die and then all her dreamed people are gonna die including jordan so i was terrified terrified that jordan was gonna die but she didn't and i just really have to thank maggie for that but jordan is truly 10 out of 10. i'm so excited to see her again and learn more about her character and i can't wait to have more moments between her and declan because i do ship them i loved it whenever they talked about art because it was just really cute and declan was honestly me being like oh my god i'm gonna fall in love with this woman Speaking of Declan, I'm gonna move on to the Lynch brothers because oh my god, I have thoughts. Now, I don't really remember how I felt about Declan in the original series, but from what I can tell in my reviews, I wasn't the biggest fan. So going into this book, I honestly did not know what to expect from him, but Declan really blew me away. He had such a turnaround. I really liked him. I just think this book showed a more intimate and emotional side to Declan and I think the original series didn't really do that and that's also because Declan wasn't a main character in those books so you didn't really get to see him but in this he is so you do definitely get to learn more about him and personally for me that's what I needed so that's why I like him more and I'm really excited to see where his character goes because I think he's heading towards the right direction of being a better person and brother and I'm really excited to see that. Then we have Matthew, the youngest Lynch brother who is too good for this world. He is so soft and I love him to death and he just deserves so much better. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that Matthew was dreamed by Rowan because so when I remembered that he was dreamed up I honestly didn't think he was gonna find out in this book but then he did and I felt so bad and it hurt so much when he was talking to Rowan and he was like you're just as big a liar as Declan and I was like oh my god we gotta start praying now that Matthew survives book two and three and that he gets happiness because that's what my baby deserves. And then we have the star of the show, the middle Lynch brother, Rowan. And I am just so proud of how far he's come because he's really changed since the original series in that is very obvious in this book but he's also still himself doing his dream thing and I just love him so much. The thing I found most interesting about Rowan's journey in this book was how much he struggled with being a dreamer because I feel like in the original books like yes it does come with consequences but at the same time he also loves being a dreamer and being able to create things with his mind but I think in this book it really hits him like hey doing this comes with a price and I can hurt a lot of people and I just think he didn't really realize that until this book and he really struggles with realizing that he is different and lonely and that's something I struggle with too so I just really appreciated being able to relate to that and I also found his times with Bride to be super interesting because Bride would just be very philosophical and make really good points and I haven't even talked about Bride. Bride is either the hero or the villain of the story which one I don't know because we know nothing about this person. He is so mysterious it freaks me out so I don't know whether or not to trust him. I'm pretty skeptical. I think he's hiding something up his sleeve. So I am interested to see what's gonna happen with him. But as of right now, I do not trust the person. The last thing I want to discuss is 
Rowan's relationship with Adam because oh my god they are so cute. I liked Adam and Rowan in the original series but I personally wasn't the biggest fan. I really loved Blue and Gancy which we still love them don't get me wrong but Adam and Rowan in this book were 10 out of 10. Oh my god the love they have for each other is just like wow. It just really took me by surprise to see how deeply committed they are to each other because I don't know the relationship seems strong in the original series but like it is strong okay they have gone through so much and they have just become stronger because of it and they are just so in love with one another like they literally use Latin as their love language and say the tampon ultra deep oh my god like that that's real love and I just love them so much. <laughs> If Adam hadn't been in this book, I definitely would have started a riot because I had missed my nerd so much. He is just the most precious person ever. So every time Adam left, it really sucked just because I loved him being there and I loved having him and Rowan together because it just made my heart so happy and I really hope he plays a bigger role in the next book because he is a sidekick so he can definitely help everybody out and definitely figure out if Bride is good or not. Like Adam, come save the day please. The only sad thing about Adam and Rowan is that Rowan is now gone because he had not seen Bride disappear the very end after Carmen and her squad of dreamer killers show up and then Bride showed up and was like hey Rowan and Hennessy you want to come with me I'll hide you so now they're gone and Adam doesn't know and that really really makes me depressed and I'm not gonna be able to handle that well <laughs> with that being said I am super excited for book two it is supposedly coming out in May 2021 but let's hope it can get pushed back earlier because I don't think I can wait that long. I need answers now, okay? I need more Adam and Rowan content now. But those were my thoughts on Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Seafodder. Overall, I really enjoyed it. Maggie blew me away. I am such a big Adam and Rowan stan now and I just cannot wait to see where the Dreamer trilogy goes. Thank you all so much for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I am Courtney and I'll see you all next time with a new video soon. So I will see you then. So